Welcome back to another episode on Databricks. So this session we talk about how we can use Delta Bricks to implement SAD Type 2. Right? To demonstrate SAD Type 2, I used customer dimension. So let's see what the data contains, what the data frame contains. So the customer data frame contains customer ID, first name, middle name, last name, birth date, etc. I'm not going to consider all the field for SED type 2 and uh, I'm just considering address line 1 to check whether they are changing, the customer is changing the address. If the customer is changing the address, I would like to see, I would like to capture the history. That's what the intention, okay? So I have to create two tables that is staging customer and the final table. For loading the staging customer, I created one folder under staging layer. And um, for the final process, process table, I created analytics um, customer under the analytics folder. <clears throat> so these are the two tables. One is stage customer and the team customer. So the difference between the stage customer and team customer is the extra two fields you can see here in the final table. So start date and end date adder to make sure that the record coming or the existing record is active or uh, closed for so and so date. Okay. So as you, you have seen this data, right now what I'm going to do is we'll store this data into staging layer first. So let's come down. So here I'm showing you how you can create view using the data frame. So this I didn't mention in my previous video. So this also one important thing that you can remember while coding, right? So this is the data frame that I created before. So this data frame, you can do any kind of transformation and load the final data frame. And if you want to use this data in any other API like Spark SQL, Scala, or uh, even this is Python, I created in Python. So this view will be exposed to all the APIs, right? So once you create the view, then you can use the same thing in Spark SQL. So let's execute this. Now your view is ready and you can use this view to insert into our staging table. So before inserting the view, the records in the view to the staging table, let's examine uh, the table, right? The staging table. So if you execute this, you can find that there is no record in staging table. Now let's execute this. Uh, I'm using spar.sql and insert into the staging table from the view. Right. <clears throat> now the view record records in the view is inserted in the staging table. Let's go back and execute this. Now you can see that all the data that we have seen in the data frame is available here in the staging table. Now the next is we have to insert this record into the, our final table, right? So let's execute final table. We don't have any data here, right? Now, okay, we'll come back to this update and insert statement later. First, we need to have uh, the first insertion to the final table. So let me come to the merging part. So we can use uh, SCD type two in Delta Bricks using merge statement. So this syntax is similar to what we have seen in SQL Server, right? Uh, merge, what it will do, it will check the data exists in the final table based on the join condition. And if the data, if the data is available, then it will update else insert, right? So if you look at this statement, this is what I'm using, this data I'm using to merge the data with the final table. <clears throat> so let's examine what I did here. 
so I have created another merge key so so what uh, we are doing here we have created another merge key so this will be the joining key with the final table so here we are keeping the stage customer and for those new records I'm keeping it as null so these values will not be there in the final table so all these records will be inserting into the final table why I need to insert I'm checking whether the address line is not matching with the final table so staging address line data is not matching with final table if it is not matching then I need to insert that's a rule for a CD type 2 right so if you are finding any differences between the existing data and incoming data then the existing record will close and new record will insert with a different date start date and end date and for this one we need to make sure that all the update portion is coming into the final table but again we are not going to update any records if there is no change in the address line how we are capturing that uh, okay before that so we are joining based on custody because custody is our primary key in the final table and for the staging we have created merge key merge key is the key for us right so we are joining based on this when matched if the record we found that okay the records are matching the keys are matching between the target and the staging and if the scd field column is not matching then only will update as will not update okay so let's say if you have more scd type columns then what you need to do is you need to add all the columns here in the work condition so if any of these columns are not matching then we'll update the end date of that record into current date minus one because we kept it as current date minus one the reason is that record is active till yesterday and the current day onwards the new record will be in an active state so if not matched what happens is it will check these records will not be matching anyway so the existing record we already closed and the new record we will be inserting and look at the date the end date is 999 12 31 so it means this will be active till any change in the future coming up right so let's execute this now we'll go back and see the data there okay so we have all the data that we have seen in the staging layer so the count will be same let's see how much is the count so we have six nine four records right let's see six nine four let's go back and check the count in the staging table uh, okay i can create another one here <clears throat> 694 so the records in staging as well as dim customer is matching right now right now what happens is i am going to update the value in the staging table right so normally what happens is we'll get another file the delta file and we'll be loading into our um, row layer then from there we'll be loading into staging layer we'll do all the transformation and come to final table but I'm not going to do so just imagine this is the total process we need to do but here I'm directly updating the staging layer okay so before updating let me check what the data here 
21001 this is the record and uh, you can see address line is 2243 w street right so what i'll do i'll just update this address as 600 penny alfreda g let execute this and look at this previously in high we are not able to update like this but in a delta table we can update so we are going back and checking how the data came in 210121 one, one. oh this is dim customer sorry um here yes so you can see the data updated here in address line right and let's see in the dim customer for the same record how much how many records are there so we'll come here customer it's here let me execute this we have only one record now we'll execute this again the miss statement we'll go back and do this we have two records so look at the differences between these the address line is updated here and uh, the first record is active till 0102 that's yesterday right and uh, from the current day onwards <clears throat> the end date will be 99 and 1231 so this record is the active one so you can see you may be thinking oh okay the start date for both the records are same and end date is um, for the second record is two that's okay but the reason is we inserted this record both record today that's the reason but in reality we will be getting the data in previous day okay now this is how we are capturing the update now let's go back and insert the record i am inserting new record let's see this cust id is available or not so come back here going to keep this here. Let's execute and there's no record now insert into staging so we inserted the record into staging right now come back here and fire this this is dinka sorry um we need to execute merge statement okay now we'll go back here there should be record all right so this is what i want to show you guys today and if you enjoy the video please like and have any questions please comment below i'll be coming back with more such videos till then goodbye if you would like to receive more such videos please like and subscribe to my channel also if you would like to connect with me I have provided my details here, my email and LinkedIn. So thank you very much.